Hello everyone, I want to make an update to the last video I made. So in the previous video, I said that the PostMarket OS Edge Tano installer was broken and it's since been fixed. So I have been able to test um, Plasma Mobile on the OnePlus 6T and here it is, I'll show you. There we go, Plasma Mobile on PostMarket OS. The default password is 147147 if you didn't know on the pre-built images. And here we go. Like most stuff doesn't work. It's a little hard to get things up, but it's some a lot of things do. Sound doesn't work. Um, internet works. I think Angelfish doesn't work. Mm -hmm. But Firefox does work. Also, it will crash Plasma Mobile. If you select the multiple window, let's see, it's kind of blurry. The multiple window thing, so watch. We'll click this. That's going to crash the GUI. And it's just going to launch right back. So definitely not usable yet, but cool. I mean, you can develop your Plasma applications and you can test them on, you know, hardware that's not... Um, a potato like the pine phone. Let's see, let's take a look at the Kirigami gallery. So this this demonstrates, look how much smoother that is compared to the pine phone. Look at that. I think actually I need to go grab the pine phone and compare them one by one. Okay, here we have the OnePlus 6T on the left and the pine phone on the right. And they're both um, they're both running the Kirigami Gallery. I'm sorry if I'm slaughtering that name, Kirigami. Here's the Pine Phone. You see it is full on potato. I mean, it is just, it, it's laggy. It's, it takes like, it's pretty bad. I mean, it's not terrible. And the screen brightness just died for no apparent reason. Uh oh. Oh, this is the gallery. It's pretty slow. Let's see if we can find the card layout in this one. It runs wonderful on the one plus six. Absolutely wonderful. Look at that. So smooth. This is what a Linux phone could look like. Obviously, most things don't work very well on the OnePlus. But we do have hardware acceleration, it looks like, at some level. Um, so very smooth. Very smooth. So much better. So I'll probably... Like, I'll probably test applications I make on both, but to see what it would, you know, what a real phone would look like, the uh, OnePlus 6T is a great, a great device to test UIs. We can't, because it doesn't currently work with cell phone networks, you can't hook up into text messaging or anything like that. One of the things I like about Linux phones is if you want to get a list of all your text messages, you can just download the SQLite database and open it up in, you know, whatever SQLite program you want to read it because it's Linux. You do whatever you want. So you see it, it works with gestures. See, I think this is a pretty good demonstration of a couple things. One, how slow the Pine Phone is, and um, two, that Linux phone apps, you know, don't necessarily have to behave like potatoes. <laughs> yeah. Um, let's see what else can we look at? So the the Angelfish browser doesn't work. At least last time I tried it. configured with DuckDuckGo, which I like. I'm actually really liking Brave Search. It's still in beta, but I would like that to be configured on all my Linux phones. 
Firefox works fine. Again, um, try restoring session if that works. Cool. Bring up YouTube. Server not found. Interesting. I guess my Wi Fi died. It's pretty buggy. Internet does work sometimes. NeoChat would not connect for me. It's like only Firefox has worked at all with the internet and I guess even that is on and off. But yeah, let me know if you have any questions or you want to see anything running on Plasma Mobile on the OnePlus 6T. Oh, before I go, let me show you the index, the file manager. So this thing actually runs pretty good. You can have index running on Android as well. You got your standard Linux file system. Pretty fast, pretty fast. Very fluid. I could totally use this if phone calls, text messaging, and stuff like that worked. Sound, I need sound because I do listen to music. I think we have any mp3 players like so software discover doesn't work at least it hasn't for me yet but you can install software with oh it looks like something just loaded interesting that's the first time it's loaded usually it fails oh, I have all my updates let's see updating okay well I guess the software Center is starting to work. Um, but yeah, sound doesn't work. Maybe, who knows, maybe after updating it, it will work. If anything updates or anything starts to work better, I'll make an update video. Thanks. Goodbye.